you feel frustrated that you don't have transferable skills into product management, and you don't have a technology background, and you don't have the community of people who is able to support you throughout the entire process. You are not alone. Our guest Jill had the same challenges as you do, but she was able to successfully transition from a banker on Wall Street into a senior product manager working for Web3 technology company. So today she's going to share with you her challenges and how she was able to make fast transition within three months. And I believe all of you guys can use the same strategy to advance your career as well. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I have helped hundreds of people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you want to achieve the same kind of success, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button so be notified every time we turn a new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the free tips we provide today, please make sure to hit the like button and share this video with aspiring product managers because we're going to change millions of people's lives together. We are having our influential product leader podcast series. And today I had the pleasure to invite Jill and who come from Falcon X, which is a leading crypto trading company. I'm very excited for her to share with all of you guys regarding her experience, how she actually transitioned from a trader on Wall Street into the very high tech and crypto trading industry. So let's welcome Jill. Hi, guys. Hi, Jill. How are you doing? Hi, guys. I'm good. Thanks, Nancy, for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be on our channel. Awesome. Awesome. So Jill, so as you know, for the Influential Product Leader podcast series, we love to bring in all the like the leader, product leaders in different industries. So can you quickly introduce yourself regarding your background, what industry you're in? Yeah, yeah. So I grew up in China. I came to New York um, um, for graduate school, studied financial and engineering. And after that, I joined Morgan Stanley. So I've been uh, working Morgan Stanley for almost seven years. At first, as a risk manager, then um, I was a trader. I traded equity swaps and index relatives. Um, and you know, trading the same products for four years was kind of boring and repetitive. Um, so I started looking for you know my next step in my career, um, and um, I determined that product management will be my next career move. This is awesome. Okay, so for people who doesn't know Falcon X, can you give them a quick introduction, like? 30 seconds overview regarding what is Falcon X? What do they do? Absolutely. So Falcon X, uh, we are a Series D um, um, crypto startup. Um, we just raised our uh, funding in May at 8 billion valuation. We have a, a bunch of really credible investors like GIC, the, the Singapore Sovereign Fund. And we're trying to build the most of the technology advanced the trading platform and prime brokerage business in crypto. So similar to Morgan Stanley and uh, Goldman in the traditional asset space. Um, we're essentially, you know, trying to build, be the best trading partner of all the like mass asset managers, um, hedge funds, and all the institutional clients. This is amazing. Another side tip, when Joe started interviewing with Falcon X, I was very excited. I was like, this is the one because they are the like Morgan Stanley for crypto industry. For people inside the industry, you guys know this like very prominent uh, major company. And even if they are still like Series B startup, they are still startup, but they have been profitable the whole time. They actually do not need yeah. investor money to somehow just like they just want to grow faster uh, with a billion dollars evaluation. Very, very excited for you to join them. So, um, Jill, um, you brought up very important tips regarding when you got started, you are somebody who works on Wall Street as a trader, trading traditional yeah. like finance product. And now you're a product manager in a very like high tech and sexy industry, which is in the crypto web three industry. So can you tell us what your challenges in advancing your career into product management in the crypto trading company, how you get started with the top three challenges you faced? Yeah, so I think for me, the biggest challenge is to find the transferable skill of trading. And, you know, trading, it's kind of specific because you are expert on a specific product, a specific market. Um, but it's hard to transfer that skill in other industry. That's why you see a lot of people work, uh, you know, on the Wall Street on the on the same job for like five years, ten years, even twenty years, because it's hard to switch around. So it really took me a long time to find, um, you know, what my transferable skills are, and um, and you know what uh, industry that can be beneficial to. 
Mm-hmm. And um, the other challenges was, you know, once I sort of find that product management is really interesting, it's something that I want to get into. I had no idea of like how long that would take, what sub industry I need to go into because I thought self driving is super interesting. Uh, Internet of Thing was also super interesting, but I didn't have relevant experience, so I didn't know. Oh, should I go to FinTech? Oh, should I go to a another really interesting、uh, industry? And how long that the profession takes, I had no idea. And I once I sort of even when I like zone into a specific area, the The product management interview—it's a lot. There are like a behavioral interview, product design, product execution, product strategy. There's a lot, and it's—I just didn't know like where to start. I see. So, Joe, actually,、um, you faced lots of big challenges, just like other、uh, of our audience. And so, can you share with them how we conquer those challenges one by one? Let's start from your first challenge regarding the tra- identifying your transferable skills. So that one, I probably took a lot of detours because that took me many, many months. I, you know, read a lot of articles on different kinds of careers, and I just randomly saw an article about a banker transitioning from, you know, his banking job to product management. I thought, oh, that's really interesting. I started linking to like what a pet product manager does, and as I started learning more,、um, there are actually a lot of transferable skills from my trading job. Because as a trader, I essentially work with our bot team, our tech team to build trading applications. So similar to product management in the sense that I step. Specify the requirements for the tech team to build a product. So you identify, you want to become a PM. So why don't we talk about your second challenge regarding which industry you need to go to? You mentioned several IoT, like self-driving cars. It all sounds cool and sexy. And how you actually、yeah. like decide to join a crypto trading company? How you conquer the second challenge? Absolutely. So that was actually really a frustrating period in the beginning. I'm like, okay, if I want to do the Internet of Things, like, what are the things I need to learn? How long does it take? It might take like a year. It might take two years. And I didn't like my trading job back then, so I just wanted to get a job as soon as possible. And that's, I think, where your program really helped me. So when I had a first conversation with you, you really learned about my background. And you,、um, you know, just identified that fintech will be an area where I can leverage my experience, ex- existing experience. And I, I think if I want to get a job offer as soon as possible,、um, that would be the best route. And turn out it's a really good strategy that I was able to focus my effort on the fintech companies and the, focus my preparation on the fintech companies. And I got my first offer within three months. This is amazing. Three months, we love this. Now let's also <laughs> talk more regarding the crypto trading direction. You know, fintech has traditional fintech such as Bank of America doing checking account. I found this very boring personally. Okay, it's like whatever watching this, you work for Bank of America, maybe <laughs> see a couple of changing jobs. But there's also other industries such as like Web three industry, and you happen to choose niche down into trading inside of Web three. So tell us how you. Make those choices. Yeah, I would say there are like two reasons, maybe three reasons,、uh, why I chose a crypto company instead of traditional finance.、Um, first reason it's、um, as as you said, it's probably a little bit boring. But the other thing is the culturally that product management is the supporting function in advance. It's still very sales focus and trading focus. Yeah.、Um, versus at a tech company, product manager is center of a tech company. So I wanted to go into a more tech-driven, a product-driven companies.、Um, that's why I decided not to go with the、uh, the traditional banks.、Um, and the other reason is I wanted to work in a fast-growing startup versus a、um, well-established traditional banks. Where because I've seen Morgan Stanley that our growth in our prime brokerage business has been static. For a fact. You're actually getting paid higher than fan PMs right now, which is back to the original like directions you pick. You pick like high growth area, and now they also happen to like be able to grow very quickly and fast growing, and and being able to actually、uh, reward their high performance employee with higher salary than fan company. I believe this like fantastic choice.、Yeah. I love this so much. Totally, totally. I mean, a lot of people ask me, "Oh, if you get a pay cut or something." I the answer is I didn't. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> actually, much more higher. <laughs> With my equities, it's probably higher than my trading job, actually. Yeah.、Um, even even the cash base is also very high, based on my knowledge for all the offers we negotiate. So, congratulations! So faster and also getting paid more. So when I det- learned that there are, it's just the. 
product management interviews are so complex. I wanted to have a community where I can bounce ideas to with, and I can you know do mock interviews with. So when I learn about a program, you know I look at other programs as well, like a product school. And but when I learn about your program, I just like the fact that it has a really、uh, you know bounding community. And also having very like a structural courses that tell me how to prepare behavior questions, how to prepare like all the other different kinds of product design execution strategy、um, uh, interviews help me a lot. I would say overall, like I, I think your program was really、um, instrumental to my、um, interview preparation process. Thank you so much for、uh, for saying that, guys. Guys, we didn't pay her to say anything like this, but if it interests you, it makes sense. It, it's yeah, it's true. <laughs> Cool.、Uh, if you guys are interested in PM Accelerator, you can go to the description of this video and step one, register for our free masterclass and also submit your application to meet our head admission and also whoever select to join the program、uh, to join our communities and you are able to get started, jumpstart your PM career. Now, Jill, as let's do this. I actually I'm very curious about your shift. So lots of guests we bring into the influential product leader podcast series, they have this like sudden shift that usually they're flat and all of a sudden they said they hit a shift and then they they career take off right. So what's the most important shift that push you to the next level, especially as banker on Wall Street? Probably you're probably the only female trader, I, I guess. So what's the most important shift that push you to where you are right now? Um, I would say, in terms of my career and transition, the the breakthrough moment is to niche down on the crypto trading area because I, you know, I quickly learned that you know there are other areas within the fintech company are really not a good fit for me. Really, if I go to pin pay payment company or insurance tech company, my past experience are not relevant to them. It's sort of a detour to my career. Versus、uh, the crypto trading company really value my trading experience in traditional finance, especially、um, at a big bank,、uh, prime broker at Morgan Stanley,、um, and they really value my、um, knowledge and understanding of the financial markets and the financial products. I think that's one of the reasons that I can、uh, I ramp up really quickly、um, at the current company. I'm already leading、uh, really important meetings and projects, and I think、uh, people think I'm adding value.、Um, so. I, honestly, I think I can't find a better fit、uh, where you know this is not only is is not a detour for my career. Even though I I made the transition, I changed my career.、Um, it's sort of a booster to my career, even because、um, it it perfectly co combined my past experience and what I'm interested in, what I'm passionate about, which is the product management. This is fantastic. And、um, so now I want to ask you this. Question: I believe all the、um, audience will ask this question regarding, you know, currency, crypto industry. In starting from May, the price just dropped and tank. Management things going on, and people have been wondering: Is it still the right industry for them to join? Are they still building like high tech product? So, what's your take on that? And also, why actually when you join them, actually join them last month. Actually, when you join them, the crypto market has already went down. So,、yeah. what what's your decision making process? Um, I think there are two things that are, or maybe three things that are really important. First is I truly believe in the the big thesis of the digitalization of of、uh, that will transform the the financial industry. So I believe that, but it's going to take many years, even decades, to、uh, to achieve that. So with a big vision in mind, I I, I don't think it's a bad timing to enter the market. And the second. Reason is you gotta remember there are many bear markets in the not just in crypto industry in tech industry as well. And when that happens, what most tech companies do is instead of expanding and and and、uh, and grow grow, and they just focus on building the product. And that's what we're doing here as well. Even though we're seeing a lower trading volume,、um, we actually ramp up on our、um, on our product,、uh, you know, building process. We're launching many new features, launching、um, new products. And the third reason why I entered this industry now or chose this company was, you know, as you said, Falcon X has never lost money, even during the bear market. So、um, Genesis lost a billion dollars.、Um, we are. You know, pretty much unscathed because we have a very rigorous risk management as a trader.、Um, I think that's one of the biggest reason why I chose Falcon X,、um, just because we don't take excessive risk. That's not our business model. We offer great technology product to to、uh, 
to clients, and that's why we were able to charge premium on our clients. That's why when you interviewed them, I was like, "This is the one." Remember, I was like, "They are the one." Amazing, very good, awesome.、Yeah. So now, so tell us more. Maybe people are still thinking about joining the crypto industry, and actually, um, this there is a stats out there. Actually, sixty-eight percent of the Fortune five hundred companies were born during a recession, and actually, like, what's the commonality between Google, Apple, Netflix, and Amazon? All those companies, they were born during recession as well. So your company is very, very smart regarding their product strategy. Let's build the most important and most like、um, uh, adding value product during a quiet time, and also manage those risk. And that's why I can、uh, help you guys become the number one premium trading companies within the Web three industry. So that's very smart. I love the strategy behind it. Awesome, cool. All right, so let's do this. Let me ask you this question. So, given that everyone is saying now, everyone want to join、uh, Falcon X right now. So, what is what's the day to day look like as a product manager in Falcon X? Okay, so it's kind of cliche to say that、uh, not a single day is the same for product manager, right?、Um, so, I guess the first component, obviously, is the product design and working with engineers on like what needs to be built. Um, the second component is, you know, understanding what client、uh, requires.、Um, it's actually really interesting for OTC derivatives because a lot of the backend system that, that we just have to build, no matter what client needs. But I quickly realized I cannot be disconnected from the clients because clients can tell me、uh, where the market opportunities are and how fast we need to bring the products to market so that I can make trade-offs、uh, decisions on. Okay, do I want to build this internally? Do I need more engineers, or do I just buy a product? And choose to be told, in my week two, it's the the second week I joined a company. People are asking me to make a decision on whether to invest in a company or buy the product from a company, which is a huge decision.、Um, but the fascinating part of this job is it, it gives me. A big authority、um, and and decision making power,、um, and it's also like a new learning for me. I've I've done like、um, you know sort of product management, pseudo product management more recently before, like in terms of working with engineers. But I've never made an investment decision or product decision in terms of like do we buy or build, which is a classic question that even big companies face. This is amazing. Actually, you are actually really leading this new methodology. Like, focus on doing product management correctly during this quiet time. Actually, this happened multiple times to our student. Actually,、um, uh, another student joined Uber, and he's doing the same thing. When Uber was growing like crazy, he basically said the same thing. They don't have the formal product management methodology. Once he joined, he he did like organizational overhaul to say, hey, let's just like redo how product management is supposed to be done in Uber. So now, as An、uh, influential product leader. Can you share with the audience what what advice would you give to other people who want to jumpstart their PM career? I think I would maybe just start. What you gotta figure out if this is the right career for you because it requires a lot of investment. So definitely do your soul searching, talk to people, read articles,、um, you know, use your network. And after you have that determination, right, you really gotta put together a plan for yourself. Like, what are your goal, right? Which similar to me, like, what industry are you trying to get into? It's it's impossible for you to focus on machine learning and then self driving, then IoT or then fintech. It's just impossible. So you gotta have a focus on yourself and、um, have a plan for your、um, you know job searching career. I really highly recommend you know your Program, which you know, from the very beginning, on helping people identify,、um, you know, what direction they should go into, what their strengths are, how they prepare the interview, have a, a drafting a plan.、Um, I think that's really helpful. And the third thing is,、um, you can complete a lot more as a group than by yourself. So having a community community is really important. Whether you find a community through you know Nancy's program, your friend community through other programs, or you know through like LinkedIn or networking, it's really important to have a community to go through the journey with you. This is amazing. Thank you, Jill. And actually, you mentioned communities. Actually, we have free communities.、Um, we have free LinkedIn group and also WeChat group. We're going to put the the links in the description of this video.、Uh, my team may also put some like. 
barcodes on top of us. You guys can join and also for people inside the PM, uh, uh, PM accelerator communities. And we have very tight communities, actually the most engaging PM community. And that's why we have those kind of monthly alumni panel and also like influential leader podcast series for people to grow together. So very excited to see your success and growth. Um, Joe, thank you so much for joining us. Awesome. So any last uh, tips for everyone before we close down the podcast? Um, yeah, um, I guess I would just put my offer out there, like for people who need some help, who, who want to advise on, you know, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn and I'll be available to help people. Awesome. Thank you so much for giving back to the communities and helping others to grow and also get out the traditional banking. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, <laughs> want to transition from banking as well. I have a lot to say. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. So thank you very much, Jill. And thank you for joining us. And I believe all the audience uh, enjoy this, this podcast series so much. And if you like all the advice and Jill gave you guys, um, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and also share this video with any people who want to break into product management, especially people working in the traditional finance industry. It's time to move on and do something sexy in tech. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Nancy. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. All right. Great. Um, good to see you, uh, everybody. All right. Have a good day. See you guys. Bye.